Hi guys, so uh, I'm sorry because of the hoodie, in fact the rain started falling on Paris. So right now I just want to say that we're in front of the Don Bosco church, as you can see. So, uh, you know, it's very, it's very tall church, it's uh, eight, uh, about 83 meters um, high. But, you know, we just, uh, we're just there, I just finished the visit uh, of the inside that you just saw the, um, the, uh, the pictures of. So right now what we're going to do is that we are going to go to the uh, Rue de Bagnolet, which is the street on which I grew up. And hopefully, and this is only a tryout, we're going to try and enter into the um, open area inside the building that uh, I used to play in. So with that, uh, we're going to move in and let's go to the Bagnolet Street. Okay guys, so right now we're on the Rue de Bagnolet. So this is, like I said, uh, the street on which I grew up. Uh, most of it changed, okay? So for example, I think this bank here uh, managed to stay. Uh, you know, these things, like the Kaskrut here, this uh, kebab place, uh, that's just new. Mo most of the, of the shops you see here are new. Uh, but we're actually on our way to see a shop that uh, had actually, that actually grew, uh, you know, uh, from, um, uh, from where I was born. So we're actually going to go walk all the way up to the building that I was born. That's, uh, that's a building at the end of the street. We're, we're, we're going to be there soon. But uh, yeah, it's interesting, it's interesting to, it's interesting and impressing really to see the, uh, the, the change that has, uh, that has emerged in uh, over 20 years, guys, okay? So that's kind of a lot, 21 years to be, uh, to be precise. So right here, this is a shop here, the Veronique Gisard, that's a hairdresser shop. And what happened is that it used to be uh, much smaller than what we see today. The shop expanded. And uh, this is, you know, what uh, what we we that, that's actually how what it looks like today. Um, whereas before it, it used to be only this side of the street. Now we expand it to cover the entire corner. So this is the G20 supermarket, uh, kind of like uh, a Dylan's of some sort or a medium size conven convenience store that uh, emerged. So it wasn't there when I was born. However, the Casino Supermarché that you see over here on the left is uh has uh, managed to stay okay guys so that stayed and i remember that i would go there for or my mom would take me there for um for grocery shopping and in fact the 24 rue de bagnole is this building right there that's that's the building in which i uh, i lived for the for uh for the first five years of my life that's why i watched the world cup in 98 i was five i was on the first floor of the building uh, in the back and right there this is where I grew up guys this is you know so you see 24 right there Rue de Bagnolet these are the double doors that are there and in fact there's an inner courtyard that's inside a double door so I'm, I I don't know if we're gonna be able to to go in uh, if someone comes out but if we do uh, I'll let you visit uh, however it's kind of cold in Paris so I don't I'm not gonna stick around for a long time but hopefully we'll be able to see what's in there. Okay guys, so right now we're uh, in front of the Boulevard Charonne. In fact, this street that you see right there, you know, from here all the way up to here, that's the Boulevard Charonne. Now, I remember that one time in my youth, you know, I actually had been injured. And uh, in fact, it, the, near my forehead, I started, uh, the, you know, a bit of skin opened, I started weeping. And I remember standing right here, you know, uh, in, in the middle of the boulevard, uh, holding my father's hand as we tried going to the hospital, which would be uh, further down this street. So that was just, you know, an anecdote I wanted to share with you. Another thing is that, you know, we're near the metro station here. And if you can read closely the, the station's name, you know, Alexandre Dumas, which is, you know, for some of you, uh, my first name. So, uh, unfortunately, I haven't read any of the uh, books by Alexander Dumas, but that's just something that I hope to do, just to remember, you know, uh, the station, uh, uh, the metro station, that, instance, that interestingly uh, bears my first, my, my first name as well. So, what we're going to do next is that we're going to go into the metro station, and uh, in fact, we're going to go through three different metros, so stick around for that. Okay, guys, so right now we're inside the metro, so as you can see, this is one of the most modern ones because all the cars are connected. 
Uh, it's a bit crowded, so I apologize for that. But you can see that all the cars are connected, whereas in the older ones, there are so this one is also special because you know the stations are actually uh, stated by the, uh, the speaker and you actually can see which um, station you're arriving into uh, as indicated by the light all right so what we have what happens is that we're going to go all the way to uh, nation which is the end point of this line and uh, i'll see you there so see you in a few guys all right, guys, end of the line. This is it. This is the wonderful uh, nation uh, station. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to take Metro Line 6 over there. And in fact, this is going to be a treat because this Metro, believe it or not, goes actually above Paris. Okay, so we're going to see, uh, we're not going to be underground much. We're going to see above Paris and we're even going to cross the river, the Seine River, which is, uh, you know, uh, the river that crosses Paris. So right now, we know we're going to go all the way to the metro station, to line 6, where uh, we are going to, um, you know, actually meet our metro. So I just want to show you this way the uh, intricacy of the underground of Paris. I mean, you have three metro lines here, guys. You have one, two, six, and nine. And most of the stations are connected underground. So there's not much of an above ground uh, thing that you can do, because unlike uh, other cities. So right now we're, we have to take line six. This is on our left and off we go. So as you can see, you know, Paris is extremely crowded. There's a, there's a lot of people inside. This is the intricacy of Paris itself. You know, we see those things uh, for uh, ethical trade. Uh, all right, so we see Metro six over there is on our left. We're gonna go to our left. You see the H wall, H wall means star because this is the uh, station uh, that it goes to, okay? So you're only going to see the end points of the station uh, when you're when, you, when it's indicated. So this hallway is a bit small. So this is Metro Line 2 through which we arrive. We're not interested in that. We're going towards Metro Line 6 for the third time. So you can see that anyone rides the Metro, really. That's what I, I explained in uh, my video to the Sacred Heart Basilica. Okay, so Metro Line 6 is still this way. So one thing that you really need to know if you go to Paris is that you should familiarize yourself with the metro, and that's whole, uh, what I'm trying to do with this uh, with this video, of course, uh, and my and my previous vlogs, since I use the metro to travel real, virtually anywhere. Here's a, a bigger map of the of the entire station. So as of now, we're uh, somewhere over here on the map. Okay, we're actually right here. So we're gonna go there. So. What we want is that we're going to go to the station Montparnasse Bienvenue. And this is, a, this is a major transit hub too. So hopefully we're going to see what it looks like. Because this is where you have not only the metro, but you have a train station that's there. And yes, they are connected uh, underground as well. So in fact, it's easier here because we only have one line. So. You know, so over here, that's where the people get off. That's where we get on. So I'll hopefully try and find a sector that's not too crowded. Uh, usually the front car is the best. And this car in the middle looks nice. So we're going to go into the middle one. And we're going to wait until we... So we're going to wait until, you know, we go above ground. So until next, uh, the next clip, I'll see you then. Okay guys, so right now we're underground, we're gonna go above ground. As you can see now, we have the light of day, and we're gonna be, and now we are, you see, at the same as ground level, and we're going up. And now we are above, above ground, okay guys, this is the Bel Air station. And in fact, it's interesting because a lot of people think of the metro as being uh, completely underground, whereas it's not, okay? Uh, we are actually above ground, and uh, this is an interesting fact. Um, so, what we're going to do right now is that I'm just going to stop talking most of the time, and we're mostly going to watch the skyline of Paris, which is uh, very beautiful, I hope. So, stick around, here we go. So right now we are actually going back below ground, you know, just a little stop above ground, as nerd. And here we are, back underground. 
So we're going to go above ground again, you know, this is kind of a, a metro that uh, goes on and off uh, the ground. So hopefully we're going to be uh, back above ground in a short time. I hope to capture the crossing of the Seine River. So until the next clip guys, I'll see you then. Okay guys, so we are above ground again. This is, uh, we're actually near the, uh, near a very important building here. And uh, this is the Seine River guys, this is a river that crosses Paris. As you can see, there's many bridges that uh, crossed it. We see the boats here that serve as restaurant over the summer. It's a very beautiful sight in the summer, obviously. It's not a good place to there as it's cloudy and rainy. But uh, this was just, you know, the river that crosses Paris. It's, uh, it's why uh, Paris was, uh, was built in the first place, so that people could drink from the, from the water. So right now we're at a station. This is uh, near a train station. So this actually is nice because it allows you to walk uh, just from the station, you know, in a very short time. The uh, actual uh, station was uh, was located in a stop below. So right now I'm I'm not going to uh, I'm going to stop talking, and we're just going to vi uh, view the skyline as we go along. This is a train station, guys. Gare d'Austerlitz, as it's known. This is the Hospital Pitié de saint pétrière This is where they used to get the gunpowder. And uh, this is now a hospital where Diana, Princess Diana, was treated after her horrible accident inside the tunnel. Now we're diving back underground. Here we go, guys. All right, so now we're right back underground. It didn't take uh, less than a second. And we are arriving at the next station. So right now I think we've seen enough of Paris. So the metro also is a place where we have street artists performing, as we can see here. So uh, we'll uh, we'll turn off the camera right now. Time to go above ground, guys. Right again. is also a place where people beg and you can see this guy over here is making an announcement for people to give money 
So we're just gonna ignore him uh, for now because you gotta be careful also of uh, who these kinds of people are. So it's just a warning that I'm giving you. So we're not gonna give him any money right now, but uh, instead we're just gonna hunch up and keep quiet. We're still gonna view the skyline because it's just a beautiful sight not to, not to see. What we just saw was the newspaper offices of the world, which is a very big newspaper here in Europe. Now we go back underground now. Oh, not yet. We're actually at street level. <laughs> We are now street level. So I want to apologize just for the big mess that was there. That was just the beggar that I talked to you about. Someone else just left. Now we're truly underground. Time to turn off the camera. Okay guys, so right now we're in the Montparnasse station. That's actually a very big station. Now, the other thing I want you to guys know is that this metro right here, you see the very large tracks like that? That was a metro on wheels, okay? So as for metro on wheels, you see, I hope you can see the third track over there, this one. This is where the train gets electricity. So here, we're gonna see a, a, a train arriving. You see that? Those are wheels, guys, not rail. So you see guys, these are wheels, and you see the third wheel right there that touches the track? That's how the train gets its electricity, because the wheels here uh, are not conducting, they're not made of metal. Alright, so we're just going to watch this train leave, and we're going to see the wheels turn, that's actually kind of fascinating in my opinion. So here, the train is about to leave. Now what we have here is that, you know, you actually have two ways to do this. So this way over there is to tr to get them to the metro, that's the way. This way over there is to get to the train. Now we're not going to go take the train, maybe some other time, we're going to take the metro instead. So it's kind of a narrow uh, hallway here, we're going to go down. We're going to go back up again. You can see that it's a very major transit hub because the people here have their luggage. So sometimes you can even see the soldiers patrolling out here, uh, which is uh, which can be pretty scary. I mean, these are guys with, uh, with weapons, so it's scary. You can see lots and lots of people. So with people, guys, protect your pockets, okay? Make sure you don't get pickpocketed and your holiday gets ruined, okay? So we're gonna go down. Then we're gonna go up. So you can see we have this man here selling flowers. So just to illustrate that the metro is also a place where you can uh, you can do business. We have these guys selling the flowers everywhere. So this is kind of a, something special. It's actually called the moving carpet. 
because you know you just stand there and you move. So obviously we're gonna go faster. So this is actually a nice uh, decoration, you know. The metro is also a piece of art, uh, you guys. So this is kind of like uh, uh, an alphabet, all the the metro, and uh, it tells you a bit about the history of the metro. You know the letters that are there. Uh, 2,722 conductors, uh, 2 million uh, more trips, and 4.4 uh, million people uh, per day. Uh, how, uh, in fact, there's a um, there's like a lot of uh, of things here, and this is also the work of art right there, a photo mosaic, very large photo mosaic uh, here. So we're gonna go all the way. I think I see soldiers over there or some kind of artist that we're gonna take a video of. If you look at, uh, at my other uh, videos, uh, there's a reel I will, uh, I will make of the uh, artists performing in the metro because these guys have a craft and they, they exploit that craft to earn their very living. So we're just gonna move here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the camera and we'll see each other in the next clip, okay? So see you in a few. Hi guys, so uh, now it's uh, May 12th. So I know it's been kind of a while from May 28th, but what I've been doing during this period is that I kind of went around Paris a little bit and uh, I also wanted to, uh, I also took uh, various pictures of the sites I, uh, I was planning on, uh, on uh, making another vlog. So what is going to happen is that uh, this vlog will be published today. Uh, you'll be able to see it. And what's going to happen is that uh, next week, we're going to go to some place very special with a lot of history and even a bit of the foreign world into France. So, uh, you know, meanwhile, stay tuned and I hope to see you in the next video. All right, see you.